What is up, players? It's War Boss Tip, and it's Mug. Welcome to my little daily update. I'm looking through Only War's Splat Book Final Testament, and uh, just the, the artwork here is pretty amazing. Some of this stuff is really evocative of the uh, Imperial Guard and and all sorts of stuff. But the reason why I was looking at it is because I was thinking, okay, how how else can I prepare for my my challenge in the May painting challenge and show other people how easy it is to find level 4 stuff. So you don't have to participate at this level, this is just if you want to go the full, uh, the whole, you know, go the distance and come up with a, a narrative fluffy campaign. So this is a, a, a book that um, is from the Warhammer 40k role playing game Only War, but you can find a lot of maps and information. Oh, hello ladies. On the uh, on the interwebs with maps and stuff and uh, like Warhammer, the Games Workshop, they produce so much stuff that has a lot of narrative illustrations like this. So this is just one book that I found, but yeah, you can definitely find anything online to help you. I I just if you Google like Warhammer 40k, uh, Hive City or battle battleground battlefield maps. Like, stuff will pop out, no matter what, or um, science fiction maps, and then you can base your narrative level 4 fluff campaign around it. Again, this is just for people who want to take part in the level 4 section of the May Painting Challenge. This is totally above and beyond what is normally uh, expected, or, or the, you know, the goals that we set. But for those of you who are willing to go that extra mile, I just want to show you it's not as hard as, as you think it would be to create a fluff and background for whatever you're painting and to um, include it in, in your painting challenge. So uh, Tori asked if I would be posting up to the Google group the daily questions along with a little bit of a rundown, a more in-depth rundown about what each level is. I, I haven't actually written anything out. I, I made the videos, but I haven't specified, you know, what's expected from you. So, or not expect, I keep saying expected, but it's like what is uh, the benchmarks that I'm setting. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work over the weekend to do that and post it up on the Google group. Um, but... <laughs> Where did you put my fig new tinge. Where did you put my fig new tinge? Where did you put my fig new tinge, trooper? But um, in the meanwhile, uh, what can I show you? Okay, so these are the commissions that I'm working on. I've got a big Tyranid one. Some of you might have seen the pictures that I posted up on Twitter and on the Facebook. So um, there was a nasty gap in this guy's back armor plates, which I sealed up with liquid green stuff. And so I'm going to wait for that to cure, and then I'll repaint that back plate. But these are the Hive Fleet Behemoth colors. Very happy with it. I'm also going to add some sticky, slimy saliva to make his mouth a little bit more wet and uh, disgusting. I'm also painting up the Glotkin here. And that is coming along nicely, waiting for the second coat of Ogryn Camel to dry. And the reason why I brought up orcs, kaboosh! I've got this giant box of freshly primed orcs that I have uh, spent the last couple of nights basing, gluing down the basing material, and then spraying, and now working on base coats. So box o orcs getting done, Tyranids getting done, and Blackkin for the studio. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying following all my progress, and we'll see you in the next video.